Hi guys, I thought I'd film a quick video today as I've had an absolutely epic kit arrive and it's the Horizon Zero Dawn or the Horizon Forbidden West, depends on which game you're thinking of at the particular time, but it's one of the most badass uh, mechs from the game, which is the Thunderjaw and uh, it's by the Good Smile Company or Motoroid and uh it's such a badass kit now, let's put this into perspective the place i got this from was i think it was a gumpler.co.uk um they had an offer on this particular kit because as you can see there's a bit of a crease in the box so it was from 90 and i got it for 75 because of the damage to the box i don't care about the box if i'm honest guys um you might uh and uh you'd pay full price but for me personally I don't care about the box. Um, so the kit is just awesome. It has ratcheted legs and that sort of thing. So it's fully um, movable. It comes with some beautiful water slide decals. And if you know me guys, you know how much I love water slide decals. It's uh, one of my uh, things, Just put them the right way around. Um, so obviously we got some decals for the armor plate in there. Also, I, I think I'd say my majority of my audience uh, is into war gaming and specifically probably uh, Games Workshop products. So that would be Warhammer, uh, Age of Sigmar or, you know, uh, Warhammer 40k or the other various uh, offshoots of those two things. Um, but the, the reason I mention those is because the difference between... Uh, Japanese style kits if you like is that they have special parts like uh, this Thunderjaw has like soft uh, rubbery plastic parts that go with the kit it has some uh, ratcheted parts that go with the kit and also another huge uh, thing is that they're all uh, colour separated as well so you don't technically have to paint these kits now I mean if you're paint them they're going to look better of course but they still look great straight out of the box and when you think about it uh, a games workshop chaos night's going to set you back what about 80 pounds in the uk even on discount stores probably about 100 pounds from games workshop direct and you get three sprues well look at the amount of plastic you get in this box and as i just mentioned it's not just um one colored gray plastic it's multiple color um, you get a base uh to, to stand uh the thunder jaw up against to help it balance but it doesn't need it from what I'm, I'm aware of from the videos i've seen on youtube but it's like a say look at the amount of contents that you get in the box um just just epic and i think they've got some metal parts in there that's for the ratcheted hip joints i think i could be wrong uh just thinking what it could be off the top of my head but yeah uh can't wait to build this i'm probably gonna do uh sort of like panel line detailing minimal painting um but it's still gonna look absolutely epic give it a, a nice flat coat as well um after we've built it but yeah, let me know what you think of Japanese style kits. The way they're built, the way they can move, the way the colour separated, uh, the quality of them, which is absolutely amazing. The, the engineering on these kits, are, 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 like I say, next level. They're designed in such a way that they can be uh, posed and uh, manipulated. Whereas if you've got a Games Workshop kit, you know, you pretty much, you, you glue it and it's just a static pose. Now, I'm not knocking Games Workshop kits at all. I mean, I still love painting them and building them. But I think these uh, style kits, uh, some people call it Gunpla for Gundam kits. Some people would just call them um, just scale model kits. But yeah, I think they're awesome. Uh, but yeah, love to hear what you got to say, guys. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video, and I'll catch you in the next one.